Earlier today, Vice President Harris stopped by a DNC phone bank to make some last minute pitches to supporters. And later on this evening, she'll be here on the campus of Howard University. And what we noticed, she has not mentioned former President Trump, her opponent, and these closing days of her campaign. But what the campaign has said is that they are expecting legal challenges to tonight's election results. And they say that they are prepared. They have lawyers spanned out throughout the country. We also spoke with one Democratic lawmaker uh, who said it, these numbers are pretty concerning right now. They said that this is a reminder for them of 2016 when Hillary Clinton, it appeared in the early part of the night, was winning. Uh, and then she eventually, as you know, lost that race. So they're hopeful that Kamala Harris can make up some ground when these big uh, critical battleground states come in. Vice President Kamala Harris took the stage here at the campus of Howard University and spoke for about 15 to 20 minutes. And it was a hard heartfelt message. She expressed gratitude and let her supporters know that she called and conceded to former President Trump. So after spending three and a half months of crisscrossing the country, making her case to become president, Vice President Harris will spend election night here on the campus of Howard University. Now, as you know, this is where she went to school for undergrad and has said that this is where she first fell in love with politics. And as you can imagine, security here on the campus of Howard University is tight. The Secret Service says it's working with federal and local authorities to make sure that election night here is safe and secure. Now, thousands are expected to be here tonight or tomorrow night to watch the results pour in and to welcome Kamala Harris back to a place she once called home. Leon. Erica. Well, but Bree, what is, what is her campaign, if you can tell us what her campaign is expecting in terms of the turnout there and the turnout with HBCUs across the country? Well, we expect a lot of enthusiasm. We're, there were students here on campus that we talked with earlier who said they were excited uh, to be a part of this historic moment. Now, as you know, last week they had first expected 20,000 people there on the National Mall, or at least the Ellipse, for that speech, and mm -hmm. that number quickly jumped up to over 40,000. So it's hard to estimate how many people are going to be here on campus tomorrow just because of the enthusiasm and the excitement of people coming in from around this area to celebrate uh, to celebrate with Kamala Harris. Uh, but then HBCUs across the country, this is something that we do know. She's brought a lot of attention uh, to HBCUs across the country. She did several events at HBCUs. So this moment is going to be um, you know, this is an enthusiastic moment and uh, a moment where we're seeing a lot of students energized on these college campuses. All right, we shall see in that just uh, hours to go before we finally get to see the results here. Thank you, Bree. Bree Jackson reporting live for us this evening.